John Crestani. How'd I do? Is it all right? You, you pronounced it right. <laughs> He's a successful entrepreneur with an incredible story that all started in Thailand. And I'm so happy to welcome him to the show this morning. Wow, and thank you. Uh, yeah, but beyond that, you also have over a million dollar portfolio at 19 years old. Approximately $1,694 with affiliate marketing. Dropshipping have done multiple seven figures. This is Isabella. I am the owner of two six-figure earning online businesses. With a single affiliate program in my business, and I am dead serious. First. Oh, damn. Okay, I'll, I'll do that in a sec. First six-figure product. So you are looking to start affiliate marketing or dropshipping, but you know nothing about these in today's climate. All your knowledge about these businesses is from the mid 2000s to the late 2010s when blogging, SEO and email marketing were key strategies for affiliates. Fast forward to 2024, now you are in a different climate altogether. You find YouTubers like Greg Gottfield, John Cristani and Mike Bestil telling you that affiliate marketing is the route to go. Full tutorial on how to start affiliate marketing. Million dollars a month with affiliate marketing. And our complete beginners are making $100 to $700 a day with this brand new method. While others like Nita Nazareth and Biahiza swear dropshipping is the way to go. How I went from working as a clerk at the mall to hitting my first $100,000 month in profits. Girl, today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about high ticket dropshipping. I'm gonna be walking you through what you have to do differently with this business model. Still, there is a third group that says that these business models are dead and unsustainable. Here's exactly how I lost everything doing dropshipping. Which group is right? Or is any of them right at all? Find out the answers as we dive deep into affiliate marketing and dropshipping in 2024. We'll explore both business models and see which still work in today's digital climate and which has fallen to now being a ploy tool for selling courses. Before we get into telling you which is better for you, affiliate marketing or dropshipping, maybe it's a good idea to explore the concept. What is affiliate marketing and how are you supposed to make money with these business models? I'm glad you asked. Affiliate marketing involves you spreading the word about a product or service and getting paid a commission for every successful referral. That is, when the customer or potential customer completes a purchase. Sometimes it might be recurring commissions or a one-time payment. Given that on average people do not buy a product until they have seen it multiple times. It can be a hassle keeping track of those who have seen the product you are promoting before so you can show it to them again. Even if you could somehow do this, managing this list can be a big hassle, especially when you have leads in the tens of hundreds of people. This is where System.io comes in. System.io is an all-in-one marketing platform that helps businesses create and launch sales funnels, affiliate programs, email marketing campaigns, online courses, blogs, and websites. It is pretty much the only tool you need for your affiliate marketing journey. System.io helps you keep track of people who have seen your product once so you know who to show another email about the benefits of the products you are promoting. Better, System.io allows you to create automated funnels that carries a potential customer all the way from code lead to an enthusiastic buyer. You can create landing pages to collect leads, build simple websites, and more. System.io is easy to use and beginner friendly. One thing I love about System.io is that unlike other funnels where you have to begin paying thousands of dollars right off the bat to use, System.io allows you to use their products for free until your email list hits 2000. That is huge and pretty much no other marketing platform will give you this sort of offer. At 2,000 emails on your email list, you are certainly making money. And even after that, System.io charges you pennies. It is by far one of the cheapest marketing platforms out there. And System.io has a special deal for my viewers. If you decide to get System.io through the link in the description, you can get up to 30% off your first annual subscription. Click the first link in the description to get System.io today. Hundreds of companies run affiliate programs like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay. You can even join dedicated affiliate marketing sites such as Clickbank and promote listed products for a cut in sales. You promote a product to buyers, they click your link, and you get a transaction cut. Pretty easy, right? John Cristani would beg to differ. Despite starting affiliate marketing at a time when the industry was just taking off, he only managed to get his entrepreneurial journey on track after four years, during which he worked for a marketing agency. In 20 
2012, John Cristani took a leap of faith, quitting his job and facing affiliate marketing fully, a move I will not recommend to any of my viewers. There is a safer way, one I am currently following, which I would cover in a different video. Anyway, Cristani lost everything in the process and he had to begin from scratch. With more time on his hands and a passion for pitching products, Cristani managed to turn things around. He now makes millions of dollars each year simply by promoting other people's products. The point is, this was how challenging it was to succeed over a decade ago. Today, you face much steeper competition for two main reasons. The bar of entry into the affiliate marketing world is really low. Anyone can get in. Secondly, a lot of tactics that worked back then are kinda outdated. They don't work as much as they used to anymore. Even though the general principle has not changed. Find someone else's product, sell it, and earn a commission. You find a product, mark up the price, and sell it to consumers. This is dropshipping in a nutshell. One advantage it has over affiliate marketing, you get to decide the profit margin. With affiliate marketing, the vendor decides how much commission you get. In rare scenarios, that percentage is negotiable. But with dropshipping, you don't have to deal with any of that. Just buy a $1 item and sell it for $10 if you wish. Of course, there is the angle of competitive pricing, but still, it is up to you at what price you want to sell your products. Biahiza, a top Top entrepreneur in the dropshipping space epitomizes dropshipping. Yahita got his big break in 2018. What strategy did he use back then? Simply running ads on his own Instagram pages for a product. This wasn't just any product, it was the now famous teeth whitening pen. He managed to find a quality product that consumers actually wanted before it became mainstream. So what are the key attributes that made John Crestani and Biahiza successful in their respective industries? For John Crestani, it was facing affiliate marketing fully, a luxury that many of us today simply do not have. While for Biahiza, it was leveraging Instagram posts ads and a killer product. Can you replicate these strategies? Are dedication, ads and quality products enough to achieve success in affiliate marketing or dropshipping? I will let you guys leave your thoughts in the comment section. I will be replying every comment on there. Whether you decide to do affiliate marketing or dropshipping, you are going to encounter a problem. John Cristani got in somewhat early when digital marketing did not quite have the same exposure it has today. Same with Biahita. When he started dropshipping, it was somewhat a new concept. Set. Today, both business models have wide exposure, and this is the source of your problem, competition. With exposure comes competition. Even worse, with low bar of entry, the competition is much steeper. And with thousands of affiliate marketers and dropshippers trying to get a piece of the pie from the same audience, there is just not enough to go around. There is a dark side to this as well. With thousands of people clamoring to join these programs, there is a massive saturation of affiliates. Companies receive hundreds of affiliate requests each day, and when you have many people, shady characters emerge. Many affiliate marketers lie about the products or service they are promoting. They fabricate features, fail to disclose that they will get a commission, coerce customers into buying products they don't need, and numerous other nefarious practices. This is on the consumer side of things. The affiliate provider also has to battle with affiliate fraud, such as URL hijacking, fraudulent leads, purchases from stolen credit cards, mystery shoppers, and the list goes on. If you were in the shoes of these brands, what would you do? You can't stop running affiliate marketing campaigns. You need customers. So you do the next best thing. Raise the bar of entry. Joining your program isn't a breeze and affiliates now need to have a strong online following and sometimes live in specific locations to qualify for your program. Affiliates now need to have high monthly visits to their website to be eligible for consideration from big affiliate programs. We are talking 5,000 to 10,000 monthly visits. To think just as little as a few years back, you needed only 100 to 500 monthly visitors to be eligible for some of these affiliate programs. What about the landscape of dedicated affiliate marketing companies like Clickbank? What's the problem here? Again, saturation. Platforms like Clickbank work with you, promoting your links to a product mostly via reviews on websites or content created around it. In the earlier years, ranking your page on Google search engine only required you to use as many keywords as possible in your content. You'd see things like auto repair shops near Georgia and auto repair shops in Georgia near me. 
on a website trying to pitch an auto repair service to Georgian residents. This setup made it easy to enter. You could start a website today and already be making big bucks within three months. Fast forward a few years, Google has changed its algorithm. Now you need quality and content volume. All right, slightly more work for affiliates, but the algorithm didn't stay stagnant. It evolved to requiring backlinks. And now you have to have quality content on basically every area in your niche, regardless of how small or big to rank. So essentially, the time of beginners joining the market space and making money early is far behind us. You not only have to compete with the issue of ranking, but with giant whales who got in early and now have already established efficient channels to snap up a huge chunk of traffic at the drop of a hat. Does this mean affiliate marketing is dead for beginners? Does this mean you can't make money getting into the industry now? We'll come back to this. Let's see if the grass is greener on the dropshipping side of things. Is dropshipping still as relevant as it was a few years ago? A business model where you find things for cheap, mark up the price and sell to consumers. Apple does it, so why can't you? Here's the thing, you are not Apple. You don't have a loyal list of customers willing to buy your products, no matter how outrageous, and you don't control the manufacturing process of the products you sell. To make a profit, you have to mark up the price significantly and sell products from unpopular brands, mostly from China, where quality control is almost non-existent. Does this sound like the makings of a sustainable business? As if this situation isn't bad enough, you now have to deal with shipping. Consumers want their products as fast as possible. Many people pull the plug on an order if they see a shipping period go beyond 3 days. Promoting your business is now a hassle. Now you fall into the same problem as with affiliate marketing, ranking your site on Google algorithm. You can't rank for products as easily as you used to. What about advertising? The trusted solution that can get your products in front of potential customers. You check advertising rates, mama mia, and they are soaring to the roof. One thing you need to know is that Biahiza spent years learning and grinding his Instagram accounts to amass thousands of followers. Not only that, the teeth whitening pen isn't his first shot at dropshipping. He initially created a Shopify store to sell lash enhancement serums. However, he had to close it down as the high advertising fees meant he could just barely break even. It was a time when advertising cost was a fraction of its current cost. And Biahiza had to pack up shop on his first go due to it. How can you keep up? Your business has you setting a high cost price. Your shipping system sucks and you still haven't added the price of advertising. Not all problems discussed so far are fatal. So let's talk about possible solutions. In the earlier years of Instagram, you could grow your account organically by slapping a hashtag on your content. You barely need to have followers. A simple picture with the right hashtag could have you reaching thousands of people. Now, such an impression rate is only reserved for elites, people who already have massive followings. Instagram used to be the king option for affiliate marketing and dropshipping promotion, but that isn't the case anymore. So, is this the end? Posting videos straight on TikTok right off the bat. Walking through TikTok affiliate marketing, with the way that TikTok has continued to grow, there's no reason that you should not be making money from it. Hold on. TikTok, a savior that rolls back the glory days and gives you what Instagram used to be, but better. Yes, TikTok. Yes. This social media giant is on every affiliate marketing and dropshipping guru's lips. A well-made or just a decent video can get traction so fast, it's unbelievable. It can even be a picture featuring just captions and you are on your way to being viral. You can get millions of views on your content overnight, with users even feeling more inclined to patronize you. Many people often prefer recommendations from real people over traditional ads, making TikTok an absolute monster tool for dropshipping and affiliate marketing. If you you don't want to go through the viral content route, you can use TikTok advertising. This is especially useful for dropshipping as the platform uses a powerful algorithm to find potential buyers based on your target niche. Tons of dropshipping and affiliate marketing entrepreneurs employ this approach. However, if advertising is to be your main avenue for conversion, expect to spend around $500 to $1,000 on advertising. It is at this price point most top affiliate marketers and dropshippers start to turn a profit. To answer the question, if affiliate marketing and dropshipping are still viable business options today? The answer is simply yes, these two are still viable business options. However, you basically need to fulfill the following rules to have any shot at success. 1. Find a product that is affordable, fulfills a need to the consumer and has a wow factor. 
Sites like Temu and AliExpress are excellent marketplaces to find such products. Also, if you are new to dropshipping, you can build your portfolio with the beauty niche. Beauty products are somewhat essential and have a large consumer base, making it ideal for beginners. 2. Build an eye-catching website that immediately captures the attention of your consumers. You can emulate the style of the biggest brands in your niche. If you don't have the skill set to build a website from scratch, you can use Shopify or hire a freelancer from Fiverr to handle it. 3. If you have your product and you have a website, now it's time to get creative with your promotional video. For this, only one form of content is king and that is UGC, user generated content. UGCs are videos that are created by regular people using a product. It's kinda like a review. Yes, you don't have a consumer base, but nothing stops you from hiring someone to create a video for you. It's all advertising. Users trust such content more than traditional advertising, as I said earlier. And yes, you can find tons of freelancers on Fiverr looking to help you create such videos. 4. Head over to TikTok advertising and get your ad approved and the rest should be history. Fingers crossed. In some way, affiliate marketing and dropshipping can be a hassle but there are people finding massive success with it. Like this 23 year old Nigerian. Make about 1 million naira with this phone and I'm not just going to come here and show you guys the money. I'm going to show you guys how YouTube who makes upwards of $50,000 per month with affiliate marketing and YouTube. If you want to learn what he does and how you can replicate it, click on this video here and I will see you there.